Welcome to the Online Success Journey Podcast, your opportunity to discover and learn from entrepreneurs like yourself. This is not your typical podcast, but a place where you can get the real, real story and find out how real people encounter speed bumps and detours, but journey through to find success. Now, here's your host for the Online Success Journey Podcast, Patience. Hello everyone and welcome to Online Success Journey. This is episode 17. Are you ready to join the clan? Today we have Nelly Aircup. Uh, Nelly is the author and um, she's been a, a serial entrepreneur with small businesses and uh, she's a founder of a CEO of copnet.com, an online legal document filing service where she helps entrepreneurs start, grow, and maintain their businesses. Hello, Nelly. Hi, Patience. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for coming. We are very anxious to know everything about you. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> okay. I know the clan is anxious to hear your story, so let's get started with the basics. Can you tell my clan a little about your background, what you did before you started your online business? Take us right back to the last job or business you did before you you are an author and the, the online company. I started... Um my own business back in 1997 um, when I went into entrepreneurship for myself right after law school. And really the reason why was because I realized that while I was in law school and in my last year that the entry level salary for then graduating law students wasn't going to really support the lifestyle that my husband and I envisioned having for ourselves. So it was 1997 and it was the birth of a new era called the internet era. And we decided to tap into an industry that was fairly untapped yet. And um, only a few players were offering the services that we wanted to start offering. So we decided to set up shop, put up a one page website, and started the business in 1997 from our two bedroom apartment. And before you knew it, the business was growing faster that we could keep up with it. And uh, it allowed us to purchase a home, move our operations into the basement of our home. And from there, we were allowed to do more and sign advertising contracts and grow the business. And then from there, we, had the opportunity to move our operations into an office. And then fast forward to 2005, uh, we were blessed with the opportunity of being approached and uh, getting acquired for a very sum large of cash. Wow, that's a great background, Nelly. So help us connect with you. Tell us one thing, either a business or a personal, that we want to know about you, even if you've been around on, online since 1997. Yes, I've been around since 1997, and I've been helping entrepreneurs and startups form businesses since 1997. Um, Probably to date, I've probably formed half a million companies, and this is what I love doing. I help inspiring, um, I love inspiring and motivating people to realize what their business passions are and then work their way backwards to see if they can make that business dream into a reality. Mm-hmm. Nelly, you started your first business with a hundred dollars, and you later on sold it for twenty million. How did you manage to grow your business from a hundred dollars to twenty million? Well, it, it really, you know, when you love what you do, patience. Yeah. Honestly, it, it, it. My my goal was not the end result was not to you know grow the business to sell it for twenty million. Really, it, it, it was a process that, you know, you go into, um, you know, work every day knowing that you're doing something really great out there and knowing that you're helping people blaze their own trails. And truly, when that's really your drive and determination and pan- passion, then success will naturally follow. But, you know, we had no uh, exit strategy. We had no plans to sell. We were just 
running a business that we felt was solving a solution out there, helping people um, start their businesses at, at a very comprehensive, cost-effective price. And because we were providing a service in such a top-notch manner and providing such great customer service, we were out there as one of the leaders and, of course, approached by Intuit to sell at the time. What tips would you provide to others who want to start their business? Like, can you still do a business today on $100? and grow it? Um, I think that obviously, you know, for us, we invested $100 in purchasing a domain name. And I think the fact that my husband was so technically savvy and is so technically savvy, and we really were able to do a lot of the um, steps of placing the business together and bringing the business into existence allowed us the 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 clarity and com com that allowed us the comfortableness of being able to only invest a hundred dollars in the business. This may not be the case for everybody. You know, not everyone knows how to put up a website or, you know, do all the logistics of the startup phase of a business. So I can't comment on that. But for us, because we both came from very different backgrounds and we complemented each other, it was very easy for us to start a business with merely a $100 investment in a domain name. And for those that can, I think I, I still think if you can find a domain name for $100, then absolutely go for it. <laughs> okay. All right. People tend to think the sunshine is always shining because you are successful. Did you have any setbacks, any failures while setting up your online business? I'm sorry, I didn't understand that question. I said the people think that now you are successful, everything was straightforward. Did you have any setbacks, failures while setting up your business? Or you just had the success from the beginning? Um, we started a business where we felt that it was a very untapped market and there was a ton of demand for it, but a lot of lack of awareness for it. So when we started the business, it was one that the, there was a ton of demand and we created this awareness online that, you know, such a service exists where you can set up a business online without the assistance of an attorney because you don't really need an attorney to form a corporation or an LLC or to start a business. So the business grew really fast um, and it grew faster than we were able to keep up with it. So again, our goal wasn't success. Our goal was to provide a service that we felt would solve a solution out there, which was streamlining and automating the business startup filing process for the end user. And that's what we did. And as a result, the success naturally flew from it. Wow. So you didn't have any, any uh, failures. So what was your greatest success? I think my greatest success to date is obviously my uh, wonderful marriage to my husband and role model who I've been luckily married to for over 18 years and have had the pleasure of knowing for over 23 years. Um, Phil is my biggest role model and mentor out there. He truly supports me and pushes me to go to places where I've never been before and also is my greatest supporter but my biggest critic. And I think everyone in their lifetime needs someone like that to be able to push them out of their comfort zone. And then in addition to that, it's my four beautiful children. I think that's my biggest yeah. accomplishment to date. In addition to being able to sell a company for a very large sum of cash at a very young age when I was about 31. Ooh. Ooh. Very young. <laughs> right. So, um, Neri, how does it feel that you left the law and others sometimes when they finish graduating they really suffer and they are struggling the jobs they can't get them. 
how did it feel at that time that you and your husband you had your own business, everything was going right? How was it feeling that you are living your dream? Um, it, it was, you know, obviously it was a very exciting time for us, but you know, it, it, it happened so fast truly. And I think <coughs> for us, I mean, I was working a full-time job and my husband started the business. And, um, when I saw the business growing so rapidly, obviously I had to quit my job, but it was more like we didn't even have time to really be excited about it because the business was growing so fast that it was just more like crunch time and trying to keep up with fulfilling the orders. I think our biggest time of excitement and celebration was when um, without any plan of selling or any type of exit strategy, we were approached and we were the company that was chosen to be acquired. And that was a really big, exciting time for us. And it was a perfect time for us because at the time we had a set of twins that were almost uh, five and then I had a two and a half year old. So, you know, God was looking upon us and, you know, that was just kind of our time to kind of look at things and go, you know what, we've mm -hmm. ran yeah. this business for a very long time, we've grown it, and now it's time for us to step back and focus on raising our children for a while. And that's exactly what we did. And then fast forward to 2009, um, when our kids were older, we realized that we were too young, too passionate, too motivated, and frankly, too bored to take on an early retirement. So we decided to enter back into the industry after an hour non-compete ran out and started all over again in the same industry with my current company, CorpNet. Oh, what a journey. Uh, what is your legal startup tip for somebody who's just starting a business? I would say test the waters and make sure that you test the idea first before you go full force launching it. And even before that, I would say, make sure you believe in it, believe in the idea, believe in it to the point that you make it your reality. Because if you are not passionate about it, and if you're not loving what you're doing and believing in what you're selling, then you can't expect other people to believe in it. But it's it's got to be something that's going to solve a problem out there. And with the right vision, determination and passion, you can make it happen. But again, make sure you test it out and test the waters out before you go full force launching it. Okay. My clan is a, a hungry entrepreneur is looking to move their businesses forward. How can your expertise help my clan? Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand what you were saying. How can your expertise help my clan to move their businesses forward if they're thinking going online and you having a tiny to help them? Well, CorpNet does not provide legal, tax, or financial advice. We're simply a document filing service whereby we can assist any entrepreneur, whether it's a new ex business owner or an existing business owner, with all the document filings and preparing all the document filings they need to either start a business, whether it's to set up a sole prop proprietorship or partnership or incorporate their business or form an LLC or if they have an existing corporation or LLC we can assist them with keeping the business in compliance um, but for somebody who has an existing business and they want to grow their business my suggestion is start with a business plan and a roadmap you need to have that in place and then if you have not already set up your business as a corporation or LLC, you may want to consider doing that as well because we find that more and more clients are more likely to want to do business with an established company that's looked upon as more legitimate than one that it's not. Because in the eyes of the consumer, um, if you've taken the steps to legitimize your business as a corporation or LLC, then they view you as a more credible source, a more credible company and they are more likely to want to do business with you and transact business with you. Okay. Uh, Nelly, you have this uh, free consultation. So what is your consultation uh, is all about? 
Absolutely. We want to know more about it. Yeah, absolutely. So we have a ton of different tools and services available through the CorpNet website. Our free business consultation is a service that we offer to any new and existing business owner whereby if they have any questions, any inquiries about starting a business, um, incorporating or setting up an LLC, we have tenured uh, business experts standing by to answer all their inquiries. Again, it's a free consultation and there's no fee for this. And um, basically we take them through all of the inquiries and questions that they have and we try to guide them by providing them with tools and tips and resources and content that they can review and ultimately guide them to where they need to go and what they need to do. So where do we find this um, uh, site? Um, you, it is located, well, you have to go to our website located at www.corpnet.com and right off the home page you'll see a free business consultation in the middle of the home page where you can click on it it'll ask you for your name and number and your email address and then it will email us and then at that point we will reach out to you and one of our business consultants will reach out uh, by phone and email and set up a time to consult with you. Again, it, it is a free service. And in addition to our free business consultation, we have a ton of, we have a ton of other tools and services available. Uh, we have a free business name search available whereby if you're um, looking to search to see if a name is available for your new business venture, we can see if it's available free of charge and we email you the results. We have a free trademark search tool whereby you can take your business name search to another level and make sure it's available in all 50 states. Uh, we have um, a business structure wizard whereby if somebody is interested in setting up a corporation or an LLC but does not know really which way to go, uh, this uh, wizard will take them through a series of questions and then at the end of the questionnaire, we'll spit out and recommend what business structure is the right business structure for their particular business and business description. Okay. All right. Clan Nell is going to hang out and share more information about her journey with us. If you can relate to where Nelly started her travel so far, or if you just want to learn more about Nelly and the husband and their business, you can listen to the extended version of her journey on onlinesuccessjourney.com. Or if you're just wanting to know about Nelly and you are on online success journey just click on part two of Nelly's journey and you will get even more tips to help you with your own online journey and all our journey podcasts that's a wrap clan remember success is a journey see you in part two patience and Nelly this is not the end of the journey we hope you've enjoyed listening to part one and want to be sure you know there is a second part to this and every journey podcast at onlinesuccessjourney.com filled with even more success tips, uplifting stories, and even a bit of fun. There are dozens of episodes only available to the members of the Online Success Journey clan. Check out the website and click on Join the Clan for more information. Patience would like to thank you for listening to this podcast and she has a free audio gift for you at her website. Go to OnlineSuccessJourney.com for instant access to this gift. Of course, you know that listening to the journeys of others helps each of us chart our own path. So make sure you're subscribed to be notified as each new interview is posted. There are so many ways to stay connected to the Online Success Journey and to listen in. And if you're enjoying the podcast, we appreciate your help in telling others. One of the best ways to share the benefit you get is to rate and review it at Stitcher and other sites by clicking the stars or completing the ratings form. By clicking the thumbs up and leaving a comment on YouTube or liking and sharing the podcast on social media. To review the podcast within iTunes, simply open iTunes to the podcast, click on ratings and reviews, then write a review. On behalf of Patience and until next time, thanks once more for listening. It is our hope that this podcast will guide you on your own online success journey.